Hello, friends. I'm the most popular rhythm of a large country, and my name is Samba. Today, I'm well known all over the world, but few people know my history. So, I'm going to tell you a little about myself. I was born in the 16th century, during the colonization of my land. I'm descended from the African Batuki. People argue a lot about the origin of my name. Some believe it derives from the curtsy with which a dancer invites a member of the circle to dance. Others give me a tupi origin, meaning hand in hand. Remember, tupi was the name of an ancient Indian tribe of my country. There are people who believe that my name is a derivative of an African word, meaning worship through dance. Others think the name derives from musamba, which is an African musical instrument resembling the shokalio or the maracas. Well, let's put my etymology aside. I live in a South American country and I am part of a happy people with a noble heart, of a cordial and pleasant people who will greet you literally with open arms. A people that live in a fertile land with a delightful climate, where the sun shines 12 months a year, where the beaches of white sand are bathed by the blue waters of the Atlantic Ocean. In short, I live in the land of eternal springtime. I'm from the land of coffee, cotton, cocoa, rubber and precious stones. I'm from the land of the Vitoria Regia, the Pororoca, Iguazu Falls, Copacabana and Brasilia. I'm from the land of beautiful tropical birds, such as the Uirapuru, the Tucano, the Arara and the Sabiá. I'm from the land of Santos Dumont, Osvaldo Cruz, Jorge Amado, Cesar Lapis, Oscar Niemeyer, Lucio Costa, Dica Valcanti and Portinari. I'm from the land of Carlos Gomes, Vila Lobos, Sergio Mendes, Tom Jobim, Carmen Miranda, Chico Buarque de Holanda, Roberto Carlos and Elise Regina. I'm from the land of Pelé, the world famous soccer player. In order to come alive, I need some very original percussion instruments, such as the chocalhos, the Brazilian version of the maracas, the tamborim, a small flat box covered on one side with skin, the other side being open. It's bitten with a stick. The affoché, which is a maraca-like instrument, covered with several strands of beads and played by rolling it against the palm of the hand. The agogo, a group of two or three steel cones of different sizes attached to a long stick and played by hitting the cones with a steel rod. The Reku Reku, a grooved wooden board played like a washboard by running a stick up and down it. The pandeiro, equivalent to the tambourine, but round. It has small metal discs around it, and it's played with a continuous movement of the hands. The cuica. Which is similar to a bongo drum. Inside the drum, there's a wooden stick attached to the skin which extends towards the open bottom. It
It is played by rubbing the stick with a wet rag. The frigideira, which is a small steel frying pan. It's played by hitting the bottom with a steel rod. The ganza is a long hollow tin cylinder filled with small stones. It's played like a cocktail shaker. Well, now that you know me a little better, listen to my best known rhythm, the carnival rhythm, the batucada of the Escola de Samba. Yeah. Uh -huh. 